So I just picked up this Vader drum polish and I'm going to be using it on my SJC custom kit. And uh, let's get started. Microfiber towels are a must. And also if you have gloves, I would definitely wear those. A nice clean pair of gloves dedicated to only handling your drums. Unfortunately, I do not have any. So I'm using my microfiber towel to hold my drum. And all I'm doing right now is getting rid of any dust that may be visible before I actually get down to polishing. Once you get rid of any visible dust, I would use one of the microfiber towels to be the dedicated polishing towel. I use about four to five sprays and um, just to apply evenly throughout the drum on the hardware. And I use the second towel to actually um, go back over it and maybe dry off any um, you know, moisture that might be left from the polish itself. Once you get to the rims, do the same thing as before. Rinse and repeat and you'll be just fine. So I'm really happy with the finished result of how the rims look after being polished. It was super easy and it, you know it didn't really take a lot of time and yeah I'm, I'm very happy with how that turned out. So I thought since I didn't show you guys what my rack tom looked like before I disassembled it, this is my floor tom with about two and a half years of wear and tear and this is the ending result. Looks pretty good, pretty nice. So there you go guys, Fader Drum Polish. Would I give it a yes or a no? Definitely a yes. It is very inexpensive, very easy to apply, very hard to mess up. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, liking the video is always appreciated. Subscribing is free. If you guys want to see some drone covers, I got some of those. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.